In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, God's good people, and welcome. Today is Saturday, the 19th of June, 2021. It is Saturday of the 11th week in Ordinary Time, Church Year B. You are listening to Catholic Meditation, and for presentation, I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Good morning, and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 1 to 10. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 34. The response to the psalm is, Taste and see that the Lord is good. The gospel is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 6, verses 24 to 34. I read from the gospel. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor about your body, what you shall put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into bands, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add one cubit to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first his kingdom, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be yours as well. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Let the day's own trouble be sufficient for the day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is Do not worry Master Jesus is in total control Do not worry Master Jesus is in total control Beloved of God One weakness of the human person is to worry 
We worry a lot and over lots of things. Even things over which or about which we should not worry. We worry about food. We worry about our work. We worry about our friends. We worry about the opinions others have of us. We worry about our families. A husband worries about his wife. A wife about her husband. Parents about their children. Children about their parents. We worry about our health. We worry about our future. We worry about death. We worry about things unknown. We even worry about worry. Worry leads to anxiety and fear. And the worst thing to have is a troubled and worrying mind. We lose appetite and grow pale. I tell you, dear friends, worry kills. Worry is a slow but very dangerous killer. A person may be sick and worry kills them even before the sickness does. Often we hear people say to others, do not worry. This means be calm, be relaxed, everything is under control, so don't worry. To worry is one of the most unhealthy things to do for yourself. Is there something that troubles you about which you worry? Yes, if it is the answer. Can you change the situation for the better? Yes, if it is the answer. Then why worry if you can change the situation? Go ahead and change it. Is there something about which you worry? Yes. Can you change the situation? No. Then again, why worry? So you see, why worry over something you cannot change? Just accept it and move on. For no matter how much you worry, you cannot change it. That means, even if you worry from now till next year, your worry will not change anything. Therefore, why worry? What has passed has passed. Let it pass. Don't worry about yesterday. You cannot undo it. You cannot bring it back. Don't also worry about tomorrow. It may never come. So you may be worrying about the future that may never be there. The message Jesus wants to drive home from today's gospel about not worrying is that all we have is this year and now, this present moment. Do your best now and live this now to the full and to the best. That is why he gave the example of the birds. They don't invest. They don't plan for tomorrow. They don't save food in bands for rainy days. They don't worry about tomorrow and what to eat. They care about today, the year and now. They eat all they can today. They trust God will provide tomorrow and he has never failed them. No bird has died of hunger. Jesus concludes, if God can so provide for birds and flowers, how much more would he provide for you, you who are of much more value? It is a call also to trust in divine providence. God will always care for his own. But beloved, not worrying does not mean we sit back and fold our arms. After all, we should not worry. Jesus has said so. No, you are getting it wrong. Not to worry means do the best you can at your end and leave the rest to God. This is what today's song says. Why worry when you can pray? Do the little you can and leave the rest to God. Work hard and God will bless your hard work. Study hard and trust God will bless you with success. If you lazy around, God will not perform magic. It is also a reminder that we do our human possible best but trust in God's divine intervention and support. Many times we worry because we think we can always have it our way and do it by ourselves. With such an attitude, when we meet failure, then we begin to worry because we just realize how limited we are. Why worry then? 
when you have a divine master who is in charge and in total control. There are three reasons for which we should never worry. But before, let us listen to this little story. Robert the Robin was a bird that had lots of years of experience living as a bird. He had a young son named Ricky. Robert wanted to teach Ricky how to get worms to eat for breakfast. Robert flew with his son to the nearest patch of grass and looked around until he saw a worm slithering under the grass. He quickly pecked at the grass and pulled the worm out of the ground. Ricky was impressed and couldn't wait to try it for himself. Then, Ricky seemed to be concerned. What's wrong, Ricky? asked Robert. Dad, what if the worms aren't here tomorrow? What if they are all of a sudden all gone? Robert smiled at his son calmly and said, Son, the worms will never run out. They are always here. God provides the worms for us every day. They were here yesterday, they are here today, and they will be here tomorrow. Ricky seemed relieved and started looking for his own worm. You see, robins and other birds have nothing to worry about when it comes to their provision. It's always there. Because they know they have a God who always provides. This is the first lesson, dear friends. We do not need to worry because it doesn't help. Jesus addresses this very explicitly to us. Can any of you add one moment to his lifespan by worrying? <laughs> not at all. Worry cannot add a single minute to your life. Worry cannot add a single dollar or franc to your bank account. Worry cannot add a single point to your GPA. Worry cannot impress your boss. Worry cannot help your kids behave better. Worry cannot increase your church attendance or help your preaching. Worry cannot strengthen your marriage. Worry cannot help any of us. Therefore, dear friends, do not worry because your worrying will not change anything. It will not make you any better. Second, we do not need to worry because God knows what we need. Jesus gives us two primary examples from nature to prove the point. Look at the birds and look at the lilies, the flowers. They do not worry because God knows what they need and he provides for them. They are all beautiful and they have never lacked because God provides. He knows what they need. Thirdly, we do not need to worry because we know we have a God who is in control. Dear friends, when there is something in our lives that takes precedence over lesser things, that usually causes us not to be concerned with the lesser things. Look at, God is in total control. We have no need to worry because what we really need is God. He is all and all that we need. The other things do not really matter. So why worry? about food, about drinks. No, you should rather seek ye first the kingdom. When you have God, every other thing will be given to you. There is a difference, dear friends, between concern and worry. We have to be concerned. Parents should be concerned about their children. We should be concerned about our work. Concern is different. Concern pushes you to do something. But worry makes you fear. And when you fear, there is no amount of fear or worry that will change anything. But when you are concerned, it pushes you to action, to do something, to change the situation. We should rather be concerned than being worried. For no amount of worry changes anything. And why even worry when you know you have God? Jesus concludes, Seek ye first the kingdom, and every other thing will be given to you. Therefore, when we have God, when we trust Him, when we love Him, when we serve Him, there is no need to worry because in serving him, he provides every other need. So you see, it is just a simple arithmetic. Have God and you have no need to worry because everything you need will be provided for you. Oh dear God, help us never to worry. Rather to bring all our cares and concerns to you in prayer, trusting that you are in total control. And when you, Lord, are in total control, we have nothing to worry after all. Catholic meditation with me, Father blessed. Do not worry. Your worry will not change anything, but put it into the hands of God. He is in total control and he will provide. God bless you and have a wonderful weekend. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, 
and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen.